shot from LaFroy. And the beat goes on. Virginia with numbers. Hall all the way to the right. The players and assists, but there's the turnovers. Tejano loses it again. Guy off and running. Takes it all the way to the hole. Couldn't finish. But there for the putback is Devin Hall, who has all four. So Lehigh still trying to crack this Virginia defense that has made life difficult early on. Here's a three-point try from Ross, and he will splash it through. So Karan Ross hitting 50% of his three-point shots. Now it's Hall drifting to the top. Dangerous pass ends up in the hands of Guy. He goes baseline. What a finger roll. That is the added bit of the arsenal for Kyle Guy this year. Need one for each side. Nigel Johnson is in for Virginia. Ed Porter checks in for Karnick for the Mountain Hawks. Three-point try, and another one drops. This time Lance Tejada from the deep corner on his third attempt. So the Mountain Hawks with the advantage as Johnson gets it right back for Virginia with a three-pointer from the near corner. And now Lehigh will have it going the other way. Mountain Hawks started this game 0-4. They've hit their last two, and you can make it three straight as Tejada buries one from the corner. Karan Ross again. Kyle Guy, an early score inside, has not scored since. Johnson shakes the defense from Ross, and now Guy uncorks a three and he rattles it through. Jay Huff is out there as is Isaiah Wilkins as Kyle Guy takes the pass and immediately unloads on a beautiful jumper. Lehigh has given the ball away on a couple of occasions already. That's their third turnover of the day. Nice feed inside, though. Wilkins, he'll lay it in with a foul. Good play by Caleb Bennett to slap it away initially, but Virginia holds on to it, and Guy leans back and uncorks a beauty from the near end left. Boy, everything he does, he gets an ovation. I wish, wouldn't it be great if we could all be as popular as Jay Huff? Here's a beautiful pass from Johnson to Wilkins with a two-hand thumper. Defense in. Good ball movement on this possession for the Mountain Hawks. That sets up the three-point try, and Andre buries it from the left wing, and that is what Coach Reed is looking for. Isaiah Wilkins now. Sends down low to the red shirt freshman, Andre Hunter, who gets his first of the day. 80 points or more, 0-3 when being held under 80 points. Not many teams put over 80 against this Virginia defense. Here's Nigel Johnson. Great dish to Sump for the two-hand slam. Double-digit lead in this opening half. There's a pickpocket for Hunter as he swipes it away from Tejada. He will take it all the way to the dish himself. Yeah, Andre coast. Hunter. Yeah, not only does he force the turnover, but he scores on the other side. And another chance at fast break points. Nigel Johnson to the trailing hole. Two years ago, Lehigh was out rebounded big in that game against Virginia. That was a storyline. Here's DeAndre Hunter showing a little more of that touch this time off the window. He was at 58% shooting from the floor before that miss. Tejada contested three, and he buries it right over Ty Jerome. 16 points a game here to start the season for Lehigh. His third three-pointer right there. Nice pass from Hunter down low to Wilkins with a soft finger roll. So the 15-point lead for Virginia. How do we get here? Well, turnovers have been a big storyline in this one as Devin Hall uncorks another perfect shot from the corner. Needing to put something together quickly here. Tejada. Pump face. Runner. Off the front iron and good. Out of East Carolina, first team All-State player as a senior in high school, helping his team big. Jerome with the setup and Diakite with a monster slam. Five conference size gets exaggerated, and Virginia definitely with the size advantage at most every position. And Coach Reed saying they had to find a way to counteract the size on the inside. Free throw misses too strong, and here's Lehigh trying to get the final points. Ross will do just that. Much needed bucket right there. As the half will come to a close. I don't know, start to a season. Trying to take it into that West Virginia game that looms next time out. Jack Salt the soft touch. Ross quickly the other way. Now it's a pull-up shot for Andre, and Andre buries it from the near wing. It's a three-pointer. Heavy Virginia team that's got a lot of different guys that can handle the basketball. Fading and firing, Tejada launches that one and puts down the rainbow. It keeps the offense from starting there, two to three feet behind the three-point line. Ross can't get the shot to go, but the rebound of the stick back is there for Carnick. Now Guy. 
Cavaliers rotating it around on a rare three-point try for Isaiah Wilkins, who knocks it down from straight on. But going back to the turnovers, those 11 turnovers are accentuated as Ross puts on a nice move, driving inside for the score. A pass to the far side, LaFroy. Sends it back down low, and Hall takes a tumble, but the officials will say it was incidental contact as Karnick gets his second field goal here in the second half. Play his senior year there. Hall shovels it out. Jerome unloads and drills it. First points of the game for Ty Jerome. Hard Virginia works on the few plays before the shot that creates the wide open look like that. Tejada was able to turn the corner on Jerome on that side of the floor. Point game in the second half, but Coach Reed said he just was team needing to do a better job of on court communication as Andre drills another three. Here in the second half, Virginia's offense has been in a bit of a funk of late. It's a 6-0 run, but that ends right there. And half on that last make, now Porter down low as his pass intercepted and taken by Guy. Guy with numbers, the no-look feed to Hall inside, couldn't finish, but the tip-in is there for Isaiah Wilkins. Break the record as well, so you can almost use it as a recruiting ploy at this point. Hey, if you come in as our point guard, you're gonna have chances some work to are, do. <laughs> you do have work to do, but chances are you're going to break it. In our second half, about midway through our second frame. Here's Kyle Guy, long three, got it! <laughs> Banging home another long one. Now Tejada. He says, touche. These <laughs> fakes are finding different angles to get the ball through. 14 turnovers now for the Mountain Hawks. That's their season high. Kyle Guy fires and drills it from the near wing. 88% free throw shooter coming into this game, but he's just two of four here today. Here's the three point try. Bennett rips the cords from the corner. So the beat goes on. I wonder if Virginia doesn't want to try to run some half court offense. A three point shot now by Cohen. DeAndre Hunter on the ensuing possession. Lead cut down to 17. Johnson, nice bounce pass to Huff, who shows the soft touch inside. Here's Cone, racing through the defense, shot here, erased by Hunter. Cone is quickly there to gather it in for the Mountain Hawks. And Virginia's fans calling for the over and back. They won't get it. Tejada unloads and hits the three. Virginia just one of its last seven, conversely, on the other side of the floor now. A lob pass to Diakite, who soars into the air to send it down on the alley -oop. Here's the drive from Cohen. He loses it on the floor. Picked up and saved by Jerome. Gets it into Hunter, and now Virginia with numbers the other way. Another lob pass. Here's Hunt with a two-hand slam and the foul. It's at the three-point play coming up. How's that? Huff makes good on the free throw to cap the three-point play, and here's another turnover for Lehigh. Uncharacteristically very giving. Here's another lob pass. Diakite, just when you thought they couldn't top it. What a play. Mavity goes climbing into the air, defying all laws of gravity there. Almost a turnover, way too high. He has to extend behind to pull that one down when his momentum's carrying it. That in practice, when he's out there with his teammates, they've seen a lot of those types of plays, but... That was something. Here's a pull-up jumper and a nice-looking shot from Bennett. Final seconds tick off the clock, and the Cavaliers are into the win column for the eighth.